Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be about balancing redox reactions that occur in an acidic solution. Okay, so these redox reactions can also occur in a basic solution, but that will be the focus of our next tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with an example reaction that we're going to balance. So our example is MnO4- plus S2O3-, forming S4O6-, and the manganese 2 plus ion. So this is permanganate plus thiosulfate, forming tetrothionate and manganese 2. These are all ions, so they're all aqueous. I'm going to leave off those aqueous phase labels for now. All right, so you can see this is not balanced. We have the wrong number of oxygens, the wrong number of sulfurs, and an incorrect charge, um, or the charges aren't balanced. So this reaction is not balanced. So we're going to go through a series of steps to balance this reaction. So our first step is we are going to split this reaction into what we call half reactions. So two half reactions make a whole. So we're going to split it into two half reactions. And these are going to be actually the oxidation and reduction half reactions. Okay, so to do this, um, we don't need to worry. Let's, let's not worry about assigning oxidation numbers. We're just going to simply look for similar atoms to group together. So I'm going to highlight on the left the permanganate, right? That contains manganese. Look on the right side of the arrow. What's similar to this? Oh, the manganese 2+. plus. So that's going to constitute one of our half reactions. And then in yellow, I highlighted the thiosulfate, right? And that contains sulfur. And on the right, the tetrothionate also contains sulfur. So I'm also going to highlight that in yellow. So that's how we're going to split up our half reactions. We're just simply going to look for similar atoms to group together. So we have our permanganate going to Mn2+, and then we have our uh, thiosulfate going to the tetrathionate. Those are our two half reactions, which I've indicated here. So that was easy. Just split them into half reactions. The next step is we need to balance these half reactions. They're definitely not balanced. So step two is to balance our half reactions. And we're going to balance each of them. Can't ignore one. We're going to balance them both. And the acronym I use for this is MOHE. M-O-H-E. MOHE. Okay, and those constitute the four steps we're going to use to balance each half reaction. And this acronym was taken from a former Saddleback professor, Professor um, Carl Abrams. All right, so what does that mean? That means that the M is where stands for miscellaneous. We are first going to balance our miscellaneous atoms. Well, what are miscellaneous atoms? These are atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So those are going to be balanced first. Anything other than hydrogen and oxygen are balanced first. O, what do you think that stands for? Well, we just balanced atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So O stands for balancing oxygen atoms. Okay, so that's going to be second. H, balancing hydrogen atoms. Finally then, the E, what do you think the E stands for? What's being transferred in redox reactions? That's right, electrons. So we are going to balance the electrons, and this will be used to balance the charge. The charges have to be balanced in our redox reaction as well as the atoms. So that's a little bit different than other reactions. We don't have to worry. Non-redox reactions, we don't have to worry about charge. All right, so repeat after me. MOHI, miscellaneous oxygen, hydrogen, electrons. So I'm going to go to a new clean page here, and I'm going to rewrite our two half reactions that we're going to start from, or that we just had in step one, and then we're going to apply our MOHI steps. All right, so I have my permanganate going to manganese, and then the sulfur ions on the other side here. All right, those are our two half reactions. Then I'm going to draw a line. Okay, to separate them, we want to keep them nice and separate. And then we're going to apply our MOHI steps. So on the left here, I'm going to write my M for what? Miscellaneous, O for oxygen, H for hydrogen, and E for electrons. Okay, miscellaneous atoms. Other atoms other than O and H. 
half re first half reaction. Are our miscellaneous atoms balanced? Hmm, we have what? Manganese, manganese. They're balanced, one of each. Check and check. We don't have to do anything here. All right, other half reaction on the right. We have two sulfurs, as I underlined, and then we have four sulfurs. Are those balanced? No. How are we going to balance them? Well, we need to add a coefficient. And we need to make four sulfurs on the left, so we're going to add the coefficient of 2. So 2, S2, O3, 2 minus, going to S4, O6, 2 minus. So we have four sulfurs on each side of this half reaction. Miscellaneous atoms balanced. All right, going on to O. O stands for oxygen. Now it's time to balance the oxygen atoms. Looking at the half reaction on the left, I see four oxygens on the left side of the arrow, zero on the right. Well, how are we going to balance those? Well, we're in an aqueous solution, and so what does that mean? That means that water is present. So to balance oxygens, we are going to go ahead and add water molecules. All right, well, we're going to add water, so I have four oxygens on the left, so how many waters do I need on the right side of that half reaction to balance out those oxygens? Four. So I have my permanganate going to MN2+, and then what are we going to do? We're going to add those four oxygen, or excuse me, four waters to make four oxygens. Right, because 4 times 1 is 4, so 4 oxygens on each side. So now our oxygens are balanced in that half reaction. So now let's look at the other half reaction. We have 2 times 3, 6 oxygens on the left, and we have 6 oxygens on the right. Those are already balanced. Check and check. We don't have to do anything. We have 6 oxygens on each side. All right, so now we're on to H. H stands for hydrogen. This occurs in an acidic solution. So we're going to add H plus to balance the hydrogens. Right? Acidic solution means H plus is present, hydrogen ion. All right, so we have 4 times 2. We have 8 hydrogens there on the right. I just circled in green. How many do we have on the left? We have 0. So how many hydrogen ions are we going to add? We are going to add 8. So we have our MN. O4 minus, plus then our 8 H pluses to balance out those hydrogens, forming our MN2 plus, plus our 4 H2Os. Right, so we have then our hydrogens balanced, 8 on each side. All right, so now looking at the other side, we didn't add any waters. We don't have any hydrogens, so check and check. No hydrogens to do there. That's it. Okay, so we're on to our next step. E stands for electrons. We're going to add electrons to balance the charge. So what I'm going to do is in purple here, I'm going to write out our charges just on each ion in the reaction, in the half reaction. So permanganate is minus 1. We have 8 times H uh, plus 1, which comes to a plus 8. And then we have our 2 plus, our plus 2 from manganese. Water is 0. This does not equal. Think of that arrow sign like an equal. Those numbers do not equal each other. We have plus 7, right? 8 minus 1 is plus 7. Does not equal plus 2, right? Those have to equal each other. The arrow is an equal sign, okay? So plus 7 does not equal plus 2. So what are we going to do? We are going to add electrons. And electrons are negative, so we add electron to the more, the bigger side, the side with the larger charge. So plus 7, larger charge. How do we get that then to equal plus 2? We have to subtract 5, which means adding 5 electrons. So here we go, we have our MnO4 minus, plus our 8H plus, plus 5 electrons, forming our Mn2 plus, and water, 4 waters. Okay, I'll, I didn't change anything, I just added those five electrons. Okay, why five? Because seven minus five, electrons are negative, equals two. Okay, so let's check that out here. We have our minus one from permanganate, plus eight, minus five, 
plus 2, or on the other side, so where our plus 2 equals plus 2, right? Minus 1 plus 8 is 7, minus 5 is 2. So 2 equals 2. Checks out. All right, so now we have to go up to the other half reaction. We have 2 times minus 2. Oops, that's a minus 4, right? And then we have a minus 2 on the other side. Do those equal each other? No, those don't equal each other. So what are we going to do? We have to add electrons, okay? And we have to add it to the bigger side. Remember that electrons are negative. So I have to add my electrons to the minus 2 side. And how many am I going to add so that way we have equal charges? Right, 2 electrons. So I have my 2, S2O3, 2 minus, going to S4O6, 2 minus, and then we're going to add those two electrons. All right, so what do we have? We have 2 times minus 2, minus 4 there, and then we have our minus 2 from the S4062 minus plus our two electrons, so that's plus a negative 2. So this equals negative 4 equals negative 4. So our charges are balanced. Negative 4 equals negative 4. Charges balanced, check. Okay, new slide. I'm just going to rewrite those half reactions that we balanced using Mohi. So I'm just quickly rewriting these two half reactions that we just balanced. We balance miscellaneous, oxygen, hydrogen, electrons, so I got both of them here. Okay, I'm just rewriting them, just how we had on the other slide. Okay, so we're on to the next step. So step three is going to be making the electrons equal in each of these half reactions. Okay, so the electrons have to be equal, right, That to balance the reaction. So each half reaction has to have equal react electrons. So how are we going to do this? We have five electrons in the half reaction on the left, two electrons in the half reaction on the right. Well, that's not equal. What are we going to do? We have to find a um, lowest common multiple of five and two. Well, that's ten, right? So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this whole reaction on the left times two and the whole reaction on the right times five. That way I'll have ten electrons in each half reaction. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up. So I'm multiplying everything. So 2 permanganates. 8 times 2 is 16 H pluses. 5 times 2 is 10 electrons. 1 times 2 is 2 manganese. 4 times 2 is 8 H plus, H2Os. And then in the other half reaction, I'm multiplying everything by 5. So 5 times 2 is 10 S2O3 2 minus. And uh, 5 times 1 is 5 S4 O6 2 minus, 5 times 2, 10 electrons. Okay, so we can see that the electrons are equal, 10 and 10, exclamation points there. We have to have them equal or we have not done our job. If these are not equal, it is not balanced. Okay, so these electrons are equal uh, or, or, to each other. The um, Permanganate is picking up those electrons, gaining electrons, and the S2O3 2 minus is losing 10 electrons. Okay, equal sharing of electrons here, or equal transfer. Okay, so now what we're going to do, step four, is we're just going to go ahead and add those half reactions back together. Okay, just add those two half reactions together. So, what that means is everything on the left side of the arrow. It's going to be in the, on the left side, everything on the right side is on the right side. So everything on the left in red, 2 permanganate, 16H+, plus, 10 electrons, and the 10 thiosulfates. And then everything on the right, which is going to be in green here, is going to go on the right. 2 manganese, 8 water, 5 tetrathionates and 10 electrons. All right, so last step, we're almost done, is we are going to simplify and check. So step five, simplify and check. So simplify means we're going to look for anything that is the same on both sides of the arrow. So those 10 electrons. Those are the same. We cancel them out. That's simplifying. Okay? 
Check means we're going to check that all the um, atoms and charges are balanced. So I have two manganese, two manganese, check. 16 H's and 16 H's, check, right? 10 or 20 sulfurs, 20 sulfurs, uh, 30 oxygens, right? So I did that quickly. They all check out, so you can check that they're right. So now I'm simply just going to rewrite this final balance equation, including our phase labels. So I'm just rewriting it with our simplification canceled out. So just rewriting everything. I add in the aqueous. It's hard to write those aqueous here, but it's AQ. Um, so all those ions are aqueous. Water is liquid, so there's a little L after water here. And um, the last ion is aqueous. So that's it. That's our final balanced equation. We will all come back and do a one in a basic solution, which is going to be very similar. It's just going to have um, a couple extra steps at the end.